Now we've all seen a photo that looks like this one or like this one, but you might have been left wondering how do you make a photo with all of these colors go from colorful to that? Well, as it turns out, if you're using the right tools, then it actually is a super simple process. And in this tutorial, I'm gonna share exactly what you need to do. So let's get started. Hello friends, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and today I'm super excited to share this step-by-step -step process of editing black tones in Lightroom and Lightroom Mobile. Now for today's tutorial, we're actually gonna focus on Lightroom Mobile, but the preset that you'll be able to download or create for yourself, you can use in Lightroom Mobile or on Lightroom Desktop. So it's super versatile no matter where you're wanting to edit. Now that preset will become available via a card in the corner somewhere along this video. So make sure to stay tuned for that card if you wanna get instant and access to that download. Otherwise, you can follow along with the steps that we outline here so you can create the preset for yourself and begin editing these beautiful black tones in a single click. But before you can create the preset, you obviously have to do a little bit of work and do all of the adjustments yourself. So let's hop into Lightroom Mobile and discover which adjustments we need to make to create this black editing style. So to start things off, just like any edit, the first thing you need to do is adjust the exposure. And that can all be done within the lights adjustment right here. The first thing that we need to do is add a little bit of contrast into the photo, since we're going for those black tones, AKA a more moody look in the image. Starting with that contrast slider, we'll just set that to plus 25 by tapping on the slider like so all the way up to plus 25. Next, we're going to decrease the highlights and the whites and then deepen the shadows and the blacks. So starting with the highlights, we'll decrease that to minus 80. And then the shadows will set to minus 50. Going down to the whites, we'll set that to negative 40. And then for the blacks, we'll set that to minus 50. So right out of the gate, we've now darkened a lot of the exposure values in the image and all of those shadows are a lot deeper than they were before, looking at that before and after like this. Now let's go and improve this a little bit further by using our curves adjustment. Clicking on the curves option right here, we'll go and decrease the shadows and then decrease the highlights just a little bit more. So adding first an anchor point in the shadows, dragging down like so, just a little bit for now. And then we'll go to the highlights add another anchor point and then drag that down even further. What this does is brings down the overall contrast in the entire image. So now we have darker highlights and darker shadows, which is the perfect thing that we need to do to set up those black tones, which will be created mostly with our color adjustments in the next section. Now that we're happy with these adjustments, we'll click done and let's go to our color adjustments. Clicking on our color option, we'll first adjust the vibrance and the saturation. The vibrance was just set to negative five, and for the saturation, we'll set that to negative 20. Although we're gonna do a lot of desaturating with our color mix adjustment, these sliders just help to get a general desaturation to the full image without actually affecting one particular color. Going to the color mix option now, we're gonna go through all of these color ranges and do some adjustments to favor these black tones that we're trying to create. Starting with the reds, we're gonna set the hue to plus five, and then we'll set the luminance to plus 15. That's because any reds in your image will want to actually pop from your photo, so we don't wanna desaturate them for now. As for oranges, we're gonna decrease the saturation to negative 15, and then we're gonna increase the luminance to plus 30. That's just gonna make all of those hues pop a little bit more and be brighter in the image. Going to yellows, we're just going to adjust the saturation and set that way down to negative 90. The reason that we're not going all the way to 100 is because we still want a little bit of color in there, but we mostly want it to be gone from the image. We'll do the same thing with our greens adjustment, setting that to negative 90 as well. Next, we'll go to our cyans, and then we're gonna decrease the saturation once again, this time to negative 70, and then we'll increase the luminance to plus 40. So notice how that brings up some of the brightness in the sky so our photo doesn't look too, too dark. There's still a little bit of something going on there. We're gonna do a similar thing with the blues now, decreasing that saturation to minus 50, and then setting the luminance to plus 55. Since blues are typically a dominant hue in just about every image, I'm also going to adjust the hue to favor more of a cyan color just by changing it to negative five. 
As for the magentas and the purples, we're gonna set that to negative 100 on both the saturation sliders. Now with that, we have completed our adjustments in the color mix tool. Clicking done, we're now gonna to go to our color grading adjustment. Clicking on the three circle icons right there, we'll start within our shadows adjustment and what we're gonna do in this tool is we'll add some slight blue hues to the photo to cool everything down and help make those black tones look a little bit more rich. So with our shadows color wheel, I'm gonna select a nice deep blue here and make sure it's relatively desaturated, so nice and close to the center of the color wheel like that. And that's a really nice starting point there. As for the luminance adjustment down below, I want to darken that up so it's not as bright, so I'm going to decrease that to negative 25. Going to my mid-tones, we're going to add more of a cyan color rather than the deep blue that we just did before. So going to the cyans like that, making sure it's relatively desaturated, once again, that looks pretty good to me. And this time we're going to increase the luminance value of the mid-tones and set it to plus 50. Now that helps to pop those colors in the midtones, separating them even further from the darkest exposures in the image. With everything in order, we'll press done. And now this effect is almost complete. To finish things off, we're gonna go to our effects panel. We'll set the texture to plus 10. We'll set the clarity to plus five. And then we're actually gonna use the dehaze slider and set that to negative 10. And that just lifts up some of that contrast so it doesn't seem too, too deep. And I think that this adds a cool stylized feel to these black edits. Now for the vignette, we obviously want to darken the outer edges of our photo. So let's set that to negative 10 as well, just for a slight darkening around the edges. Now to finish everything off, we'll go to our sharpening adjustment and set that to plus 12 like so. And now we have completed our edit. So let's look at the before and after. Looking at our before, we had a very colorful image. We had a lot of color going on in the background between the sky and the trees. And there's also quite a lot of blue in the road and the car. Once we go to our after though, we've desaturated all of those dominant colors so that they don't pop anymore. And we've added so much contrast that the blacks really take over the whole image. So because we have all that contrast, plus the desaturated colors, black just becomes the most dominant and noticeable color in the entire image. Therefore, we've created our black editing effect. So let's go and save this as a preset and apply it onto some other images. Now that all of our adjustments are done, we can just save it as a preset by clicking on our preset panel, and then we'll click on the three dots in the white circle. Click create preset, and I'll call this two black tones. Now I want to organize things, so I'll press my user presets, click create new preset group, and call this to black presets, and press done. Then as for our adjustments, we wanna make sure that all of what you see here is checked off on your screen as well. And then we can press the check mark in the upper corner of the screen. That's gonna create a new black tones preset for us within our new group. So let's go and add this to another image. Clicking on our presets option, choosing our black tones group that we just created, black presets. Clicking on our black tones preset like so, let's go and apply it in one click and everything looks pretty good to me. The only problem with this image is that it is a little bit darker, but we can quickly fix that by pressing on the lights adjustment and then just increasing the exposure by a few points like so. Now that just helps to brighten up the photo. And since every image has a slightly different overall brightness, this is a very common thing that will happen with black presets. So you can just go and increase the exposure and everything is fixed really quickly. So turning that on and off, look at the huge difference that that has made in this image, just with one click and a slight exposure adjustment. In our next example, we'll add the preset once again, choosing our preset panel, black tones, and just like that, it's been applied and we've totally transformed that photo to favor those black hues in one click. Now let's go through one final example here, presets, black tones, and that looks super moody and cool compared to our original image there. So black tones are a really fun way to stylize your edits and look great with just about any style of photos that you're working with. Whether you're taking these on your camera or on your phone, these presets are super awesome to use, especially if you don't wanna waste all of your time making all those adjustments that we just went through today. That's the beauty of presets is that once you do the work, you don't have to do it ever again because it's all saved for you. Now, if you enjoyed learning how to create this black tones editing style, then make sure to hit that like button down below as it really does make a big difference to help more people see this video. If you're new around here and you love photo editing and learning new photo editing styles, then make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to stay up to date with more Lightroom and Photoshop tutorials every single week. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for you for now. Again, my name is Brendan from BeWillCreative.com and I'll catch you back here next time for another new tutorial. See you then.